What's up world, Jay Birch the Messenger here. And in this video, we're gonna look at what is a funnel made of? What consists inside of a click funnels funnel, right? There's rows, columns, elements. There's a lot of things that make up this effective funnel. So we need to look at how do I identify and how do we put them together? So in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to edit how to put information in, change information, add pictures, take pictures away. All right, so stay tuned. Can't wait to show it to you. Let's go. All right, so we're inside of, this is the funnel dashboard. All right, so we're just going to select. So let's just imagine these were four funnels. Notice they have some that are ungrouped. I have some that are grouped under bait funnel. So if you saw in the other tutorial where we put that uh, that particular category in or group, and then we had the earlier tutorial through the cookbook builder where we selected the Jason squeeze page and that was part of the cookbook group. So now we've also see it has not yet updated in terms of the funnel count. So you might see it's kind of weird. I've noticed that over the years, sometimes like it shows all your funnels and then it doesn't. So whatever. So let's go ahead and choose a funnel. So it doesn't really matter which funnel we choose. Let's just click the test funnel here, right? And this was the, okay, I remember now, this was the two step or the two page, the opt-in and the thank you page. So this is a probably a really a good example to use because most of you will at least want to have some type of opt-in within the next uh, you know 14 days or so as you're taking advantage of this uh, free trial or you're already uh, a ClickFunnels member. So. The easy way to do this, there's two ways. I'm not going to show you in this video. I'll do it for maybe another tutorial. I don't so much use it, but there is some something called the classic editor. It's just a different way. Um, I'm not going to say it's easier. I'm not going to say it's, it's, it's more difficult. It's just what you're used to. And I'm used to um, using the, the edit page. Now, early, early ClickFunnel users, they're more accustomed to the classic editor. I kind of came in as the transition from classic editor to this style that I'm gonna to introduce to you today came into play, right? So uh, you, again, in your own time, and I may, I'll probably do some tutorials in it. There are a few things that I might do in classic editor, but I'm telling you probably 98% of what I do is by clicking the edit page. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now remember, this is meant and designed for you to take action along the way. So pause and go act, come back, Right. Every time I do something, I want you guys to take advantage of that. All right. So let's uh, let's get back to it. All right. So here we are. We have our basic opt in funnel here where, uh, again, the opt in is we're getting somebody to exchange their information for what we're offering. So in this instance, it's, it's probably a low level uh, bait opportunity. And I say low level because the only thing we're asking for is the email address. That's it. So it could just be something where, you know, it might be, um, you know, in exchange for a, a ebook or something like that, you know, you can drop your email in automatically get the ebook downloaded in, in the uh, email All right here. This is a select from over 200 plus templates and designs. So if you were to put your email address in, get started, it'll most likely capture your information and then uh, put you into whatever uh, platform it is. So let's just look at some basic things. Now, first off, if you notice the green box or um, boundary, if you will, okay? So you notice the green, if I move in a little bit, notice the, the blue. And then as I go in on that, there's the orange, okay? So these are the components that are making up these funnels. So this is considered a section, right? So this is a whole section of a funnel. So if you were to ever want to add sections, if you're ever building from scratch, you can add sections by coming to the section uh, tab, if you will hover over it and it gives you add section, or you can even manage the section. So if we were to manage the section, we see that there's only one section that currently exists and it's called the opt-in area. And that's what we're seeing right here. Okay, so if I wanted to add a section, I could click add. I could select whether I wanted a full width, wide, medium, or small, and then I could drag it over, and that new section would be added on top of this existing section. So notice here, section, another section. So as I built this section out, 
it would actually put push this down further down right but that's it that's how funnels are going to be built they're going to be built based on sections they're going to be built based on rows columns things like that so inside of a section there's a row so notice in order for me to continue to build it out so if you look at this section here it's going in order so sections rows columns elements these are the things that build up the build out the funnel but you've got to have these in order in in this particular order in order to get to the element part right i can't have an element without having a, a row so if i were to add a row which i would need to do i could add several sections of rows so let's 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 distinguish between a couple of views right now this is considered the desktop view all right, let me show you what I, what I mean by that. So see here, it says desktop. This is the desktop view. So right now, I'm just doing a simple desktop walkthrough. As we get later on in the other tutorials and we're building out funnels specific to whatever the strategy is, we're really going to be aware of how it looks inside of the mobile. So notice how I just selected mobile. So what this is allowing us to do inside of ClickFunnels is you're able to build a responsive funnel. In other words, on desktop, it looks one way, all right? But on mobile, it's going to look something different. And what we want people to be able to do is go to either one and it look correct according to the device. So if I click on mobile, notice this is not, this is not uh, suitable, right? So we're not gonna look at editing that right now, but I wanna point that out to you as you start to play around with this, you're going to need to make sure that your mobile, really even more than your desktop, okay, is, is on point because a lot of the strategies in terms of campaigns, specifically with Facebook, you're probably not even gonna run half of your, your campaigns to desktop, all right, because that's just not where it is anymore. Most people are doing their shopping, they're, they're opting in, all of the stuff, they're, they're doing it all online via mobile, all right? so. But again, I've got to add a new row. So on desktop, I said that because desktop gives you all of these options that will actually be visible on the desktop. On the mobile, you wouldn't know that I selected columns because they're all gonna show up individual of each other in order. All right, so, but again, stick with the tutorials. We'll take a look at that once we actually get into building out funnels and optimizing for the mobile response. All right, so we've, we've created a, a section we've got a row all right let's add a row let's do two columns just to make it fun all right so i've got two columns and so again just to prove my point it's going to show up like this notice how it's in order it's not going to show up separate and apart so it's not going to all of a sudden be responsive to have a side by side when you go to mobile view so whatever you're doing side by side here just know that it's going to stack and the beauty of click funnels is i can have one element or one design on the desktop and not have it show up on the cell phone or vice versa so we'll get more into this again i want to give you guys a basic look at it give you guys what you need so you can really pause create action and then hit the ground running in these 14 days or you know within the next 30 days if you're already paying for your membership all right so inside of these these columns so i've got the section I've got the actual uh, row and inside the row, I've got the two columns and in these columns, we're looking to create elements. So if I click add new element, these are all things that can be added. I can do a headline, a subheadline, a paragraph, a bullet list. I can add media such as an image, an image pop, okay, a video, a video pop. So the video pop and the image pop are a little different than actually just scrolling and looking at the video specifically in it, in its own section uh, i could do an audio player where it could just be uh, audio an mp3 playing a button so a button would be something where they're going to click it facebook opt-in from here an input tab so this is considered an input so there's a whole lot of different elements that you guys can just go through right countdown timers for scarcity uh, we've got icons that we can put in uh, progress bars you can do social sharing and then there's also uh, you know opportunities for a custom uh, js and html and depending on some of your uh, plugins or integrations with other software so for example calendly they give an html option that you can actually plug right into your page and that calendly calendar can show up right inside of the funnel itself 
rather than having to click a link and then go to an, uh, another page. So there's a lot of things that you guys are able to do and we'll show you through these tutorials. So let's just click something. Let's just click image and let's just do, um, you know, let's just do a button, right? So these are all of the things that I've just done that easy in those few steps. I created a section, I created a row, I created two columns, and then in those columns I created the image and a button. So you can automatically start to see like maybe on this side I have the image or the video and then over here maybe I'll add in an input, you know, email address or, you know, something that you see here, maybe an email address and a button here. Right? So you can be very creative. In fact, watch how easy so if I do input, okay, and then I just take this move and place it right above, right? And then I can hit the gear box, go to the margin, top margin, create some spacing. And look, I've already created in just that period of time, small period of time, you know, all of this, which could be used as a way to opt in. All right, so that's just to show you how the sections and the rows, the columns, the elements all work together. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, what I've created. All right, so again, you guys can play around with it. I'm gonna delete it because we'll, really what we came here to do was to edit this information. So most of you will, in the beginning, choose something that's already put together for you and then just come edit it. So how do we edit? So again, we're inside of a section. This row has already been created. It appears to be a one, uh, a one, I'm sorry, not a um, not a row. I meant to say a column. So there's a there's a section, a row's been set up, and then a column, which appears to be a one column, not a two or three or four, but a one column appears to be here, right? And you can tell that, but based on how there's not boxes side by side. Okay. All right. So what we want to do here is if you've got a logo, you can come here and you can go to where the actual logo would be loaded up. So if you notice, anytime you click on something inside of ClickFunnels, it's gonna give you an option. Now in this instance, this was a sidebar option because I uploaded this particular, well I didn't, but I would upload an image. So this is where you find your images. And if you've got images in here, they'll all be listed here. Now if you don't have images, you can go and search and you can look at Pixabay, Icon Finder, Unsplash, and you can actually search. So let's just say I was looking for, let's just see what logos are available. If I put logo in Pixabay, and if you don't know about Pixabay, it's a free, um, it's free content is there basically, as it says right here, uh, free, uh, free of copyright under Creative Commons. So this means that you can't use every picture that's out there. And so you wanna have free content. I mean, it is what it is, but I just, I'm just giving y'all that heads up. All right, so let's say I wanted to, to replace that logo with this logo. So I would simply come here, I typed in logo, this is the searches that came back. I double click, it's gonna load it up into my, now this is my image library and now I've got a, an image, right? So if I wanted to upload, do the same thing. I upload, all right, and I've got some images here. So maybe I, maybe I want this Shopify logo. All right, so now I've got logo. So let's just say I choose one. I can click it and then click upload, or I'm sorry, uh, click it and then click add image, or I could just double click it from the upload, right? And there it is, boom, Shopify. Now notice this is not a great image. You can see it's kind of blurred out, but again, this is just for tutorial purposes, all right? Now, if I go back, let's change it. Let's look at the, the quality of this. Yeah, see, this, that's much better because that was designed to be a logo, all right? Now, I've got that in there. Now I want to change the heading. So maybe I put in um, welcome. All right, notice how big it is. Remember, we're on the desktop, but we can go in and we can do all types of editing. So inside of this box, the gear box that exists, I can click on, and then now it takes me into where I can create space between the item ahead of it or the element ahead of it, and then I can also increase or decrease the font size. So in this example, I'm gonna decrease, right? I put welcome. Notice it was much larger. So if I were to do the dial, it goes to 72. So evidently they typed in 100 and whatever. All right, so you can do that too. So you just got to play around with it. So maybe we do 100. Welcome. And then I change. Maybe I put please opt in. Again, I want to change 
the sizing so I click the gearbox and I put please opt in welcome please opt in and for your free cup of coffee on us all right so now maybe look at what happens so maybe I'm a, a coffee shop and I'm looking to create some local awareness I want to get people to come into my business and I run an ad where people this goes out there welcome you know please opt in for your free cup of coffee on us so now maybe they put their email address in and instead of saying get started maybe we say claim your coffee claim your free cup of coffee now it even helps me spell well actually that doesn't give me the correct So claim your free cup of coffee now. And if I wanted to, I can change the color of that button. So maybe I choose something that is green or maybe I choose blue or maybe I choose whatever magenta or whatever color that is. Maybe I choose yellow, right? So whatever you feel comfortable with, right? There's obviously statistics say that specific colors like green help opt in. So maybe we use green, but look at how easy I went from what ClickFunnels gave me to I went and making a change. So now my coffee shop, welcome, please opt in for your free cup of coffee on us. Enter your email, claim your free cup of coffee. All right. So again, this is just the opt in. We'll look at in the next tutorial how to edit the thank you page. But that's as simple as we've needed to be. Now, let's say the background picture. Let me show you a couple of things now that you guys kind of understand how the sections, rows, columns, elements work. All right, now there's a few things that we can do from the background perspective. So notice there's a background image. That background image can be accessed in one or two places if there's a background image to be, to be put in. The gearbox based on the section, right? Notice this gearbox here. I click on it, right? If it was a background image, you would see that hyperlink here. There is not a background image in the actual section itself. So that only other place that it can be is in the overall background of the settings for the funnel itself. So under settings, background, right? Notice now here is the background image link. So I can simply change that, All right? How do I change it? I could go back here and maybe I'm looking for um, a cup of, or not a cup, um, yeah, a coffee cup. Let's say maybe, looking for a coffee cup it's not thinking about did I spell coffee right on that I gotta go back all right so maybe I want this as a background so I'm just gonna double click it all right and here it is here in the library so I'll double click it again to get it to load up in the background and look voila so now I've got my my coffee cup in the back all right so there's a few things that you could do now obviously this is a black um, background which is contrasting this logo so this is not what's considered a a vector image if you will it's just a picture so maybe we go back and let's see if we can search for let's see vector coffee cup all right so when we're looking for vectors that's what's called a transparent uh, image so what happens is when you put it on something it doesn't have a, a contrasting background so these appear to be vectors we're gonna double click on this one we'll, we'll upload it here it is uh, it's still not a vector it's in other words it would be it would have a transparent background so uh, it is what it is right so you guys know that if, you have, if it's your logo something like that it'll have a transparent background now the other way is we can actually change this background by changing it here. So if I click on the gearbox, notice this background color here. So all of this is inside of the section. So if I were to move inside, anything inside of this particular uh, column would be this gearbox. But because this background overall is coming from the section, I can go and change the background color and I could lighten it up. 
right? So maybe it's not so much of a contrast, but you see what's going on here? All right, so there you go. Now, highly recommend, of course, your logo. You'd want it to be something that is a transparent background. So um, this particular tutorial, we won't get into that. All right, so you notice how we changed the background. Now, we'll get into the integrations and things of that nature, but right here, right now in this tutorial, I want you guys to pause and then just play around with editing and changing the information inside of this pre, uh, pre-made funnel. Very easy to do. This is the beauty of ClickFunnels. That's why you guys can literally, you know, in a matter of days, have new funnels up, collecting email addresses, different uh, campaigns, product sales, whatever it is you're doing. You can have multiple things going on and um, without really having to be creative, without having to be techie, right? So with that being said, if you guys have not already gotten your 14-day ClickFunnel trial, please click the link that is down in the description or below this video. I am a ClickFunnels affiliate. So if you were to join ClickFunnels, aside from these valuable videos that I'm putting out here now, I will give you 100% access to my membership group the plug and play educational course where we're literally going through much more in depth we're looking at strategies like affiliate marketing drop shipping e-commerce uh agency whatever it is to attract customers to create revenue we're able to do it inside of click funnels and inside of that membership we will show you step by step how to do it now why is that important to me because I want to see you guys successful. I'm an affiliate, so ClickFunnels pays me for you to use their software. That's in my best interest to help you create success and do it rather quickly. And so that's why if you go underneath my ClickFunnels 14-day trial and email me the username and say, hey, Jay, I signed up. I will give you access and have at it. You guys can go to town, create success. All right, so uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial. We're going to be looking, taking a further look into, again, adding, uh, changing different information, look at integrating other uh, softwares inside of the funnels that we're creating. All right. So talk to you guys soon. Remember your mind. It's the most important thing that you've got, man. So you've got to control it. Either someone else will if you don't. All right. So talk to you guys soon. Peace.